All right, Alana, thank you. Well, Interround Healthcare has a special place called the Neurospecialty Rehab Unit in Murray. It's where people with debilitating issues can learn to walk, talk, eat, and really get their life back. And now they can add COVID-19 patients to that list. ABC4's medical correspondent, Sir H. Chin, continues our series, Healthcare Heroes, the Faces of COVID Caregivers. We've done stories on the 12th floor at Intermountain Medical Center, sometimes called the miracle floor, but it was one patient who gave the neurospecialty rehab unit the confidence and know-how to help a new class of patients critically ill and recovering from COVID-19. I remember coming off of the helicopter on the tarmac, and that was the last thing I remember for the next three weeks. Timothy Noonan, Intermountain Healthcare COVID-19 patient number two. You're on your back and you're not mobile, you're not eating anything, and you can't speak. He went into a, just a full-blown panic attack. Numbers were dropping and he literally curled up in a ball in fetal position. Dr. Julie Lanfear is the medical director for the Neurospecialty Rehab Unit at Intermountain Medical Center. He had a 63-day ICU stay. I say that the ICU saved my life and this, and this rehab facility gave it back to me. Timothy came out of the coma no longer positive with COVID-19. But the virus had caused uh, pneumonia, uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is probably the most significant thing I had to face. Tim was really our first patient that we were able to demonstrate and prove to ourselves that we could do it. We were able to showcase that every single one of these patients was going to improve. The neurospecialty lab faced uncharted territory, walking a delicate balance between pushing Tim and having enough stored oxygen. They had to just help me get up, walk to the door and back. And on May 21st of last year, he was well enough to leave the hospital to a cheering crowd. He left the hospital winded. I love you. I miss you. Timothy would improve on his own, well enough to do some of the active lifestyle pre-COVID. To be back here is very, very emotional for me. One of the things that's always talked about is how lonely COVID is. You're isolated, you don't get to see your family and friends. Although I miss my children very much and my family, I was never lonely. Today, Timothy returns to the place that gave his life back. What makes them very rehabable is that they get better. I look at these folks like family, and uh, I love them, and I'm grateful. And we've seen 42 other COVID patients traked, pegged, uh, very complex patients that have come through here already and all have discharged home. We need to now you know, know that we can rehabilitate those patients. Our doors are open for those patients and we can give them hope for a better future. Six months later, Timothy is back at work. He still needs a little oxygen, but he's able to do a lot of things he wasn't able to do. He credits his normally healthy lifestyle before he got sick. He wants to remind everyone to be vigilant and take COVID-19 seriously. Sarah Chen, ABC4 News.